Styling our React application with the use of pure CSS is okay, but now I'm going to use the Tailwind CSS, which is a very helpful and very easy framework to style. If you are not familiar with the, the Tailwind CSS, think about Tailwind CSS as a new bootstrap. <laughs> yes, and we can go to the Tailwind CSS on the get started. We have installation at the bottom. We have this CDN. So let's see what CDN do for us and then we will move into the real installation. So we will go to the public and index.html at the head anywhere we can put this CDN and then we are easy to go with the designing of our application. So I can open my app. I can totally remove this box and in that way my application will look like this which is no styling then I'm going to say background should be gray then text should be white and there should be a padding of five and let's give border also so you have seen that whatever you want to say you literally type as a class name and then when I go here you can see we have this styling okay so gray and then we need to define the shade of gray so gray shade of let's say 600 and that is very very nice so you have seen that it is so much easy with the Tailwind CSS to style anything now I'm going to show you how you can really install it in your react application so we have this npm install so let's install this via npm and in that way while this is installing i can simply remove the cdn because now we are moving from cdn to proper installing of uh, tailwind css so now i will uh, remove this and uh, what is the difference between having a cdn in installed version of uh, tailwind css in cdn you have all the tailwind css and you cannot do anything but when you install tailwind css then there is a control on the how tailwind will work and you can add something to tailwind you can remove something and we have a purge css that will remove unused css and this is very awesome thing and now tailwind css is installed so next step is to create a CSS file and we know how to create a CSS file in our CSS we already have a style.css why not use this one so what I need to do I need to paste these three things so at the top or I can actually remove these things because I don't, I'm not using these things now so I have added this next step is to create a configuration file for tailwind css which we can easily do with this so now i can run this command and npm tailwind init npx tailwind init by doing this we are getting a file called tailwind.config.js and as i told you here you can define any configuration of tailwind css then next part is uh, you need to create your uh, uh, post css.config.js file so let's create in the root of our directory and in this file we can simply paste these two things and these two things require a tailwind and auto prefixer this means we need to install this one also so i can say npm install auto prefixer while this is installing let's see the next step now it says uh, everything is done you can easily use it okay that's nice so let's just wait for auto prefixer to install now auto prefixer is also installed when the one last thing we need to install is you can see we are using post css so here is the documentation and it says you need to install post css also so i have opened this documentation of post css and we need to install post css cli which is again very easy because i need to say npm install post css hyphen cli and let's install this one also 
and finally post css is also installed and we are good to go so just we need to restart our server and then you can see we already have this post css and we have already imported this style.css in our app.js file so this means if i go here and yeah it is refreshing but our styling is not available here what happened actually what we need to do in our package.json we have these scripts and in this script i need to add one more script called build css and this css is actually using post css and we need to define the tailwind so here is i can rename it to tail wind css or simply tailwind.css and then this is the directory and it is like source then assets then css and then tailwind.css this is the file i need to process and what will be the output output is inside source assets and then come css then come style.css this will be the output and one more thing whenever we are running we need to run one more script which is called npm run build colon css and then i can run react script start by doing this if i restart my server you can see one style.css file is created and this file is holding all the tailwind css information and then we can see we have the styling and congratulations tailwind css is installed in our react application